on to live. I'm going to get on to live Facebook and Insta. Yep, Insta. Good morning, everyone. Uh, Insta, you guys are on. I think Facebook, you're on. Awesome. Uh, good morning, everyone. I'm wanting to chat about a subject that affects all of us. But before I do, have you heard who watched, is it the Academy Awards? I think it's the Academy Awards, where Will Smith walked up to Chris Rock and slapped him across the face because he said something about his wife, about how she, her hair was, uh, has she had, you know, hasn't got any hair anymore because she's got alopecia, uh, which is a disease that uh, your hair falls out. And Will Smith got really upset and just walked up to the stage on the Academy Awards and slapped Chris Rock and then went back to his chair and started swearing and saying, don't you, you know... Uh, you know, say, put your, my wife's name in your mouth and that sort of stuff. Did you see that? And everyone's talking about it all on social media and everyone's got different points of view. Some people are saying that he's, he's not a role model anymore, that it's violence and it's, it's even extended to, it wasn't a slap, it was a punch. You know, it's, it's just got bigger and bigger and bigger and people have got all these comments and, uh, putting on social media, Instagram, Facebook. The interesting thing is, do we really know this person? Why are we getting so so involved in stuff like that? Why are we so involved? And I know some of you might be watching and you might have been on social media this morning commenting, you know, oh, I don't think that's right or I think it's right. He was standing up for his wife and getting involved in stuff and spending time, investing time on really someone that you don't personally really know. Isn't it crazy when you think about that? And I think the media, when we, stuff that happens in the media, you know, one minute we're directed to, to look at uh, those in Australia where we've been looking at, uh, you know, Shane Warne who, who uh, passed away recently and the focus was on him and ne and then it's on the war, you know, the potential, uh, the, what's happening in Russia and the Ukraine and people have really strong opinions about that. But really, do they know what's happening? Probably not. But all this drama is happening around us. And the thing is, we love drama, people. We love it. We are humans that love, we have a need for drama, but we've got to be really mindful about that. And that's what I want to chat about today. So anyone that wants to uh, chat with me, feel free to have a bit of a chat. Uh, and I'd love to see any comments there uh, in regards to what your thoughts are about this. But we have this big need, right? We have this huge need for drama. And so I love this quote. So if we think about it, great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. Small minds discuss people. I'll say that again. Great minds discuss ideas. Average minds discuss events. And small minds discuss people. And that was from Paolo Collio whoever that is, but it's a great quote. So the interesting thing is that, that drama, we get something from drama and we get a lot of excitement. Excitement can happen with, with drama. You know, it's exciting, it's uncertain, you know, what's going to happen. It gets our adrenaline pumping. You know, we're wanting to know what's going on or what could happen, all these different opinions. It's fun you know, getting into this drama, but does it always serve us and how does it affect us? And so I remember being in a networking group. Some of you guys might know it's, it's international. So for those that are watching from overseas, it's B&I. So B&I, uh, Business Network International. So 
it's a group where you network for business and I was a treasurer in Geelong in Australia and I remember just beginning my role as a treasurer at the time and I started getting people coming to me gossiping this person's not doing this this one's not doing this I'm unhappy with this person and I just started my role and the first thing that I said to these people was have you have you discussed this with the person oh no I haven't done that yet and it was so interesting that that what they wanted to do is is and continue to gossip about that person so yeah but I, I want to tell you about this what they did to this person and what they did to that person and I'm like I'm not going to discuss this and you need to discuss it with that person if you're not resolved then let's we can have that discussion together with you the other person and we can work through this but I didn't want to know all the drama I didn't want to know all of that because that it was somebody that was just or people that were just trying to expand you know blow things up and it's unfair on that person because I actually don't know from their point of view right or wrong what was happening and so that happens a lot and I remember being I remember I actually on Facebook when I was on Facebook and there was another networking group on there and I remember somebody I was using a contractor for my business and then I wasn't using the contractor anymore and I remember somebody on Facebook notif notifying me and saying uh, are you not you haven't been using this contractor for a while I said oh no we you know I'm not using that person anymore why aren't you using them and I said something like oh because yeah uh, because we've got you know we've got different paths right now and so I've got I'm going in a different direction in my business and then they came out and said oh was there any problems with this person or, or and and then kept, kept trying to bait for gossip and they kept coming back and baiting 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 and I wouldn't budge I'm like Man, no it's all good look and it was so interesting watching and reading through the comments of this baiting of like oh can I get something juicy so I can tell somebody else something juicy and so we've got to be really mindful of our need for drama because look our need for drama is there for every one of us but it can be unresourceful or it can be resourceful and that's the difference so what does unresourceful look like well unresourceful looks like gossip you're gossiping about somebody else it's that water cooler stuff right get the water cooler if you're in the office and you know, did you hear what Lucy said and oh did you see what happened to John on the weekend oh you know what's happening you know it's that whisper make sure nobody listens it's that type of thing it's that it's also if you're looking online it's online trolling you know those trolls they've got a huge need for drama they want to know people's reactions they want to get people upset if you're not reacting it's like oh what's happening so I'll bait again I'll, I'll keep baiting or provoking or uh, questioning you know the people that bait they bait on social media they ask a question wanting you to go down a certain path so that they can trap you that is all about the need for drama and or and and the need for drama when it's unresourceful it's attention seeking it's like I want attention have you ever seen on Facebook or on Insta particularly Facebook where people write one sentence and this one sentence can worry people or you don't know what's happening and this is one sentence that people are like, oh what's happening so it could be something like it could be something like this it could be I'm in hospital I've just been admitted to hospital and then that's it and you're like what's happened and you see all these comments like these comment after comment after comment and the person may not respond they don't respond and they don't respond and there's a comment are you okay what's happening is it you is it your child is it your husband is it your and they keep going and this person doesn't comment but they've given this just one little sentence I'm just being admitted to hospital 
Now, Lance says lots of reasons for that. Maybe they quickly did a text and then couldn't finish it. Yes, I know that there are always, this, you know, there's always exceptions, but there are also people that do that for attention. So that people, and they get people writing in, and then at the end they might go, oh, you know, about it. An hour later or two hours later where everyone's worried. They say, oh, no, it's all good. I just uh, I just sprained my wrist. <laughs> You're thinking, oh, I was so worried about that person. And then that person can have that pattern of behaviour and they do it again until suddenly people start to sort of twig and they go, oh, yeah, well, yeah, I know that that's, that here we go again, one of those, one of those posts that they've put up. Or they start, or they they say something on Facebook, and it's about, and it's complaining about stuff, and it's it's provocative, so that they can get these uh, arguments arguments to happen. Now you can you can either provoke arguments or online, but if you've got a need for drama at home, and unresourcefully you fulfil it. It could be creating arguments at home with your loved ones, with your partner, with your children. And so that's an unresourceful way to fulfill your need for drama. So remembering, we all have a need for drama. We all have a need for drama. But it's how we fulfill it that's important. And so what's a great way to fulfill your need for drama? Well, you can, you can fulfill it in a great book. Like you get stuck in a book, there's drama happening, there's all this stuff happening, you go, oh, this is really juicy, and that fulfills your need. You could watch a sports game. I'm not really much into sports, but if you love footy, you love rugby, you love tennis, that's a great way to fulfill your need of drama. If you watch a movie, if you play games, you can play games, you know, board games, and that gives you drama. All of those things fulfill your need of drama. And it's resourceful, well, most of the time, as long as I'm winning in the, in the games. <laughs> but it's, it fulfills your need for drama. So it's really important to understand that, yes, we need drama in our lives because what does it give us? Like, what does... It give us it gives us excitement and fun but it also can give people different things you know why are they why are they having this need for drama and maybe unresourcefully having this need for drama and there's things like they um, people could like to feel more superior than other people so they might want to bait people online and be right with the answer and put someone in a situation where they make them wrong so therefore they're right and so therefore they feel better about themselves uh it's exciting it can be like a game you know winning a game manipulating people uh influencing people too so you want to get them into the gossip as well you want to you know rile people up and uh ripe and and get them into what you're talking about you want to see how people other people react so all of that is that you know and they're prideful they want to feel superior all those things are reasons why people can fall into the trap of unresourceful unresourceful need of drama and what can be the results of that you know as i said there's there's resourceful and unresourceful drama. And so if I look about unresourceful and resourceful, it's like this, this, this uh, uh, if we say this string of things that are opposites, right? So if you are fulfilling your need of drama unresourcefully, then you will lack trust. When people know what you're about, they will not trust you. And I don't know about you, and I'd love to know if this has happened to you, that you know people in your life that you will not trust. And you even might think, you might even have a conversation about them and you might even walk away because they'll be gossiping about other people. And you might even think to yourself, I wonder if they gossip about me. Because that's like their reputation, right? It's like, it's like what they do. 
And so suddenly you don't trust them. So you wouldn't tell them a secret. No way you tell them a secret because you know they'll tell somebody else. And you may not even trust that they're honest with you with talking to you in the moment or what they're going to say or what detail they might take away from your conversation and misconstrue or or twist so it's more exciting that they could make something up and create drama around it. So you may even not want to spend any time or much time or, or avoid those type of people. And on the other end of the scale, the resourceful side of things, then if you're resourceful, then you are someone that doesn't get into that type of drama and people trust you because they know you don't. They know you don't because the, I talked about B&I, being at B&I and people gossiping about each other uh, when I was first put into the role as a treasurer. But when I nicked it in the bud, I got no gossiping. Nobody came up to me with gossip because they knew that wasn't what I was about. And so you get a reputation of people trusting you and coming to you and telling you things that they wouldn't tell anyone else because they know that you're not someone that goes and tells someone else about, you know, they can trust you. They can give you information and you're not going to share it or you're not going to manipulate it or gossip about them. So trust is a huge one. It can hurt your relationships. If you're unresourcefully getting your need for drama, it can hurt your relationships. People don't trust you. You could create, uh, you know, you create drama. You can create uh arguments and you can hurt your relationships and then the opposite if you're being resourceful with drama then you can build relationships with people you can be unproductive by having this need for drama that you're unresourcefully filling because you're just spending your freaking time investing in the drama and some of you might have done that this morning you may have done that last night you might have got into getting on the online or talking to somebody about oh did you see what will smith did at the at the awards and then you get into it you might have spent half an hour you could have spent an hour you could have spent a couple of hours on something that really has no effect on your freaking life <laughs> why do we do this people but we do but when you know about it and you go, you know what, this isn't what I need to do because that's freaking unproductive. I don't know, unless Will Smith's your best mate. I don't know, all that, unless, you know, you're, uh, you're using this in your business as an example or, or something like that or you're a charity and you're talking about domestic um, violence or violence or whatever. Yes, as I said, there's always exceptions. But most of the time... People are just gossiping. They're just getting into this drama and going, oh, what did you think? And then there's all this excitement, right? So people that that are resourcefully getting their need for drama are not, they're being more productive. They're not even wasting their time with that sort of stuff. It's like, I'm not even going there because I've got, I've got great stuff to do. You know, I'm going. I'm being resourceful right now, so I'm I'm creating all this great stuff. I'm not going to spend half an hour or an hour doing posts and and arguing with people to see, you know, say if uh, Will Smith should have slapped, shouldn't have slapped. Who cares? It's got nothing to do with us, right? So, and as I said, there's always exceptions. If you're using it for an example, I get that, and we will always, uh, I suppose try and justify our actions. But I want you to think about it. How many times do we get so involved in stuff that's really of no interest of ours and we spend all our time being unresourceful and not productive when we could be spending time on our business, our relationships, our health, our well-being, really focusing that time on that. The other thing with being unresourceful with your need for drama is that it can feel bad. Now, it can feel bad, not for everyone, <laughs> but it can feel bad. I know that there has been times where I've been with someone and got caught up in, say, gossip and then almost felt like dirty afterwards thinking, why am I even 
going there. Like that's, it's not a great feeling to be gossiping about people. It's just not great. So when you're resourceful, you don't feel bad. You feel good because you're, you're actually shutting it down. You're shutting down that gossip. You're not even getting involved in it. Your focus is bigger than that. Your focus is about lifting people up, not, not putting people down. The other thing with, with being unresourceful is that you get a bad reputation. You know, you do it enough, people will know you're the gossiper. You're the one that isn't to be trusted necessarily. You're the one that's always talking about other people. Uh, and again, if you're resourceful, you've got a good reputation. People can trust you. They know that they can give you information and you won't go sharing it. You won't necessarily be talking about them behind their back. The other thing that happens with unresourceful people that are getting their need for drama is they blow things up. It's like bigger, 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 bigger. Whereas people that are resourcefully getting their need for drama are shrinking things. So they look at things, say like Will Smith, it's the talk of the town right now. If you're in Australia, look, I'm in Australia. <laughs> like, <laughs> you know, we're another country away. He's just somebody that's got a job that's on screen that people see. And I get that people look at celebrities and, and idolize them, unfortunately. But I don't know who this person is. But you know, they look at those situations and and people that are resourceful will minimise it. They'll go, oh, yes, yeah, this happened and move on and look at other stuff and and not get involved in all this drama where somebody that's unresourcefully fulfilling their need for drama will really immerse themselves in it, like really love getting in the nitty-gritty of immersing themselves into this drama and blowing it up. Wow, you know, and then, then it ma making a big thing. So they might do one post, two posts, three posts on it. They'll make a bigger deal out of the event. So they love to blow things up. And even with arguments, they'll make the arguments bigger than what they actually are. They So they might have an argument with their spouse, for instance, and they'll make it bigger than what it should be because it gives them more drama now of course a lot of the time it's unconscious guys it's not like that we're thinking i'm going to be really dramatic right now <laughs> and that's who i'm going to be and i'm going to go to the water cooler and i'm going to gossip about maybe it's not so conscious it's, it's a lot of the time it is unconscious but it's about us really being aware of our actions and being aware that we are human beings and we do love drama, but there's other ways of getting the drama. We can read the book, we can watch the movie, we can go to a tennis match or a footy match or, or uh, what, you know, read a great book, play some games. We can do all those types of things that will give us drama, but remembering who we want to be. Who do we want to be and how productive do we want to be in our life? So if it makes sense for us to be involved in a drama and we it's it's part of our mission. So say the Will Smith thing, you've got a charity and the charity is, is all about educating people on violence and dealing with anger. Then it makes sense that you would use that story and because it's part of your mission, to make good in the world, right? But a lot of us aren't in that situation uh, and we still get involved in those types of stories. So it's a really great thing for us to just realise how we do have a need for drama and how we can fulfil it in a way that serves us and serves other others rather than being unresourceful in our life. And I want to finish, there's a quote that I saw. There's a couple of quotes, actually. I'm just going to move this over here for a second. It's on my computer that I want to. This is quite a long quote from Chris Jarmy, Colosophy. And this is what uh, Chris Jarmy says. A rumour is a social cancer. 
It is difficult to contain and it rots the brains of the masses. However, the real danger is that so many people find rumours enjoyable. That part causes the infection. And in such cases, when a rumour is only partially made of truth, it is difficult to pinpoint exactly where the information may have gone wrong. It is passed on and on until some brave soul questions its valid, valid, validity. That proves, that proves, where am I at? Uh, vali validity? That brave soul refuses to bite the apple and let the apple eat him. Forced to start from scratch for the sake of purity and truth, that brave soul, figuratively speaking, fully amputates the information in order to protect his personal judgment. In other words, his ignorance is to be valued more than the lie believed to be true. So quite a powerful quote there. So I want to leave you with this. And the first thing I want to say is, are you a drama king or queen? And if so, are you doing this resourcefully or unresourcefully? Now I said, everyone loves the need for drama, right? So it's really looking at, are you an unresourceful king or queen? Or are you a resourceful king or queen of drama? And I want to finish with this quote, which is, from someone I don't know who it's from, it's unknown, but I know that you probably would have heard this before. Gossip ends at a wise person's ears. Such a simple quote, but so, so powerful. Thank you, guys. I trust that that's been of value, and I'd love to see any comments that you want to make or send me a message. Um, those that you on Facebook, make sure that you put replay on there, and I'd love to see as much uh, info as possible in regards to what your thoughts are. Has it happened to you? Like, how have you felt when you've been dealing with somebody that's been unresourceful? How have you dealt with it? You know, I'd love to hear your messages about your thoughts around the need for drama. Thank you, guys. Have an awesome day, and I will speak to you soon. See ya.